Hi, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue. Today I wanted to take you through the new AviCAD uh, and also especially just using MetQ. So here I'm looking at the main uh, screen. It's a lot like uh, AutoCAD uh, and you'll find most of the commands are nearly identical. So learning curve is, is very minimal going from uh, AutoCAD to AviCAD. We have a ribbon here, runs across the top. Here's the MetQ tools in here. Express tools are also included, just like AutoCAD. Uh, we have tool palettes and a lot more. But today I'm really wanted to focus on just opening up the correct drawing template because that's important, as well as just um, configuring some settings. And I wanted to show you just a little bit uh, about each module. When you first open up AviCAD, you'll be uh, presented with this drawing one. If we close this out and then just open up a new template file, you'll see pcad.dwt and then there's also pcadiso.dwt. Uh, if you're an Imperial user, you want this one. Metric, you want this one. So I'll be uh, working in Imperial today. Right away, I want to go over to this uh, MetQ pull down. Now, if you don't see this top bar in here, type in uh, menu bar and then make sure it's set to one. So that will turn this on if it's off. Uh, I'm gonna work in here today um, just because there's a lot of users that prefer to work in the classic mode. We'll go down to the configuration here. We'll check the units, make sure we're in the right units and then we'll also choose DWG scale and make sure that this is set to dim scale. A lot of people will uh, turn that off and then they set all their text sizes manually. I don't really recommend doing that and I'll uh, show you today on how to manage that. If we type in DDIM for the Dimension Style Manager uh, make sure this is set to standard and then the style that you need if you modify over here and you go to primary units um, you can choose the style that is displayed as you put in new dimensions um, if you look at the text size here it's 3 16 and we'll be using this as well in the ducting which I'll be showing you here shortly uh, that's the actual size as you're measuring that in paper space and uh, that size is adjusted accordingly depending on your dim scale factor and that factor is just a multiplication uh, of that 3 16 size text depending on the scale that you're working in. Um, same thing goes with arrows so that would be 3 16 as well. So just keep those the same, don't modify those. Um, the other menu I wanted to show you was DD units. Now DD units is what you're going to see down on the command line. So if you're seeing uh, foot and inches down at the command line and you want more of a decimal type readout, um, you would choose that. Also down here at the lower toolbar, uh, you'll either want to turn on the ortho on and off here or use polar tracking which allows you to do 45 degree snaps. Um, for most drafting, 2D drafting, you can use this one. I'm just gonna topple that on. Lastly, let's check our snap settings. So if we right click on this icon here and choose eSnap settings, you'll see that I have four snaps turned on. Try to keep these as simple as you can. Um, sometimes people will use perpendicular as well. So you could turn that off maybe intersection and then turn on perpendicular depending on what you want. So let me quickly just go through uh, what MetQ really contains. Uh, here on this side we have all the piping tools, uh, then the ducting tools and structural here, mechanical, and then here is where you could um, get into the configuration, reset MetQ if you need. Uh, we have a database editor which allows you to add your own uh, sizes if you need. And then the utilities, uh, we have a general bill of materials that works 
separate from all the other bill of materials. MECU has bill of materials built into each module, but let's say if you wanted to label something that's not in the MECQ uh, library, then you could use the general bill of materials here. So before we start um, our ducting uh, example, um, I'm going to make sure that the dim scale is set to whatever scale I'm going to be plotting this at. Now I have an 8.5 by 11 sheet. Uh, that's a default sheet uh, that we you would see inside AviCAD. Uh, usually you can't really pop, you can't plot huge drawings on that. Uh, so normally you would choose something in the realm of 12. So using the dim scale of 12 uh, would be used for a scale of one inch equals one foot. I have a, uh, a table that I can send you if you need. I'll leave a link at the bottom of this video to it um, that describes that. And then I also have a video that actually gets more into what I'm talking about. It's a little bit longer as far as what paper space is and scaling and all that stuff. Just remember that the dim scale is an important thing to set. It needs to be at least um, you know, six um, to all the way up to 48 or even 96, depending on the scale you're drawing. So, um, so today I have it set for 12. So now let's go ahead and look at the HVAC duct utility here. Um, I've got a 10 by 12 selected in a rectangular shape here. Now you can um, configure different um, flanges in here if you need, and also specify intervals so that MEC you can break those up for you. We need to make sure that the uh, size label has been checked and go into the label configuration here and just make sure that this is 3 16 as well. This again uh, is kind of like the dimension styles that I was looking at earlier and this, this needs to match. So make sure that's 3 16 And then uh, once you're done with that, then go ahead and choose OK. And then here we have different um, draw views here. I'm just doing using a width view here. And let's put in a piece of duct. So in this example, I'm just going to use direct distance input, which means my cursor is pointed in the direction that I need to go, and then type in the length like this. And if we do a zoom and then E for extents, you'll be able to see that duct in here. Now if I pull back on the um, scroll wheel on my mouse, I can zoom out as well. Let's put in an elbow. And I got a 10 by 12 here. Now important down here, make sure that this is set to the width setting. So make sure that's set right. And then choose a shape, insulation, and again, ducting connections if needed. Uh, and then choose draw. Now that X there is meaning that's my last point. It's asking me for a face or corner. Well, I'm going to be inserting at the face or the midpoint of that fitting there. So I'm just going to press enter. And then the insertion point is going to be just a, another enter because it's just selecting that last point. And then that puts in the duct for me as shown. If I need that duct to go down, it's going to ask me to mirror that. And I'm just going to say yes because I want it to go down. And what that does is it mirrors it in the downwards direction. Let's say if we zoom down on this and then we need to fix this uh, length here. What we're going to need to do is ungroup this this set uh, because it's all the same group. And the way that you can do that, type in a command called pick style. and set this to zero. So I'm just um, picking it and then typing RO for rotate and then picking it again, typing the M command and then taking it. Because my ortho is on, I can temporarily disable that by holding down my shift key and then I can just place it in as needed. I'm not going to really draw too much more, I just wanted to show you that. Um, so. Now, before I forget, um, let me just uh, change that uh, pick style back. 
because if you don't change it back, what happens is you lose your bill of material functionality. Uh, so you got to kind of make a mental note to, uh, to, to turn that back on. If I wanted to, I could run a bill of materials on this, which I will do in the very last part of this video, just to show you how that works. So you choose bill of materials. Then we can go into the bomb table configuration here. And one thing I wanted to say is, again, don't mess with these uh, settings too much. Uh, these also rely on the dim scale factor. And here we have different ways of sending this uh, to either a drawing or to an Excel file. Um, I suppose I could uh, just draw the balloons in, but you have a choice here of how you want to put those in, either one balloon or unique for each item. I suppose I could use the arrow and then choose OK. Wait a couple of seconds for that to generate and then it's going to ask you for the uh, bottom right corner for the bomb table. So again I'm going to kind of zoom up a little bit and then put it up here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to start labeling it. So it's wanting to label this piece of duct here so the first point will be where the arrow will be and then you can pick where the bubble will be and then you press enter and then it's going to ask for the other elbow here the first point again is where the arrow will be and then the bubble and then press enter and now we can go up and we can look at the table what it's uh, given us. There is an option that I didn't show you where you can build this table in a downwards direction. I'll show you real quick where that's at. So if we go back into the uh, bill materials here and then we go to the bomb table, you're gonna look in this area up here. You notice how the, all this is grayed out now. It's because we've already put our table in um, and the way MECQ works is um, once it puts a table in, then you need to reset in order to get these settings back in. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're comfortable with the way the, the table looks. Uh, maybe just by doing a couple of pieces first. Uh, then you're, if you're happy with it, continue on. But if you're not, you can reset it. It will um, remove the balloons. Uh, so keep that in mind. So don't uh, want to reset it too late in the game. Uh, but here's where your uh, options will be up here and then the install corner if you need to change that. Your uh, balloon shapes are here as well. So I hopefully this, this video has been helpful. Feel free to uh, call me or email me. Uh, number here is 888-271-7121 and we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.